Hi there, welcome to my video on how to edit your Thinkific Communities tab uh, to maximize the effectiveness of this feature for your online community and online course. I wanted to make this video to sort of go over sort of these settings because it's really important before you start your first post to get this right. Uh, because they will help uh, make the transition to uh, communicating and engaging with your students very effectively. Let's get started. So as you see, uh, there's all these settings here that if you're not sure what it means, uh, let me just uh, do a quick overview. So this here is really essential. If you look at the sharing link, you don't necessarily always want to enroll everyone um, who signs up for your online course. For example, you may have different uh, versions and models of your online course where some is self-paced and some where you offer a group coaching weekly. So this is where it's really important to integrate your email marketing uh, service so that uh, this link can be populated and automatically funneled to your students. This will make it easier so that when you uh, divide up your list between those who signed up for coaching and those who didn't, this link will go directly to those who signed up for coaching. The other advantage of using uh, the Thinkific community feature is that sometimes uh, different groups of people have different preferences and not everyone really enjoys Facebook groups. And this is one advantage of engaging and supporting your students in a method that doesn't involve uh, Facebook um, because uh, Facebook is very accessible, but not everyone enjoys Facebook or even has a Facebook account. So this is a great way to ensure that you can still reach your students and support your students through the program. And this is really uh, the second part is the basic settings. Uh, what people forget is that the name that you give is really important because you will have different products and each product may have a different community. So it's important to give it a name so that you can differentiate which uh, community that you're engaging with and also uh, associate which community to which product. So I've just for this purpose is called a test demo. But if I know that I'm planning to launch another product, I might add a des test demo one to say this will be my first, or I could even say first cohort. And then I can just say this is the first cohort um, enrolled in my coaching program. This all just makes it easier when I'm looking through the different communities in my uh, dashboard. So then I'm posting in the right community and enrolling the right uh, students in the communities because uh, if someone didn't buy coaching and you enroll them in the coaching uh, community, um, then it might sort of create a very inconsistent user experience and they might be confused and it sort of looks unorganized. So this also is a good organization uh, practice for you as well. And then this is also important as well in terms of uh, access. Um, a lot of people don't realize that there's going to be different levels of access, and this goes back to segmenting uh, your audience. So uh, right now, this community is still in draft. I want to maybe give it some more looks, um, upgrade the appearance. So right now, I'm not going to make it public yet. So right now I can just choose the setting only me, or maybe I'm just going to uh, test out the communities to some people in my group. So then I can definitely take advantage of and choose this one, the students in groups, and I can select which group um, will be in uh, this community and will be able to take part of this feature. Uh, the same uh, principle goes for enrolled students, so that people who are only enrolled will be allowed access to this community feature. Or this is another uh, confusing, but also uh, something to consider logged in students so that not every student will be uh, accessing the community, but only students who are logged in. So before you uh, choose which uh, button to select, I would think about who is going to uh, take advantage of your community feature and make sure that they're assigned uh, the right community. And then the last thing is uh, branding. A lot of people talk about branding in the online space because if you think about it, it really reflects who you are as a person and it really goes uh, with the business's um, colors and style. And so I'm not really actively using this, but if I were to really customize this, um, I'm someone who prefers neutral, very simple, classic color. So I would choose gray. And then I would also think about the font. 
this is really important because everything that you set up here will look consistent with your landing page and the rest of your course site. And then the last thing is I would add like an image, sort of like a logo to sort of say, this is my coaching communication group logo. And this just sort of gives it a visual feel and uh, puts it a little bit more distinguished and has a little bit more um, enhanced look. So I hope that helps. Uh, look, uh, stay tuned for the next video on really how to use uh, communities. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.